we were camping there last night and uh, we've just jumped into the car um, and we're about to get on the boat to Inishowen. We're going to head to Doak Famine Village. Um, it's a great wee spot, uh, tells a lot of the history of uh, the Inishowen Peninsula and the people that lived there, um, famine times and just the different history of, of Ireland and it's a uh, it's, it's really, really, it's really, really good place to stop off at. So we're going to do a few lanes on the way over and then stop off, um, get a few clips of the, the village um, and then, then shut on, do a few more lanes and then we're going to come back actually to Benoan. We're meeting a few friends um, and we're going to camp here again tonight again. <laughs> just landed here in the Doak Famine Village and um, we're going to have a wee chat to Pat that, that owns the, the Famine Village. His family's been here for several years now um, and then we're going to get a wee walk around the village. Um, so it's an, it's an interesting place, a lot of great history about it and uh, Pat's very very good at, at doing the tours. So we're actually in uh, Doak Famine Village here. Um, Pat does a really, really good tour of the village. His family actually lived here up until the 1980s. Um, it's really important for us to stop off in places like this here whenever we're out doing our tours because it actually tells the story of the people that have lived here and the way of life as it was. Um, you know, and it wasn't that terribly long ago. Um, so during Pat's tour, one of the first things that he does is he goes in and this was their family home. He talks about uh, what life was like, the sorts of things that they would have ate, um, what, his, uh, what his mother and father would have done and worked and uh, worked the land and sort of things out. So, uh, and then he goes through different types of seaweed that they would eat off the rocks, how they would have fished. Um, the, then he talks about how they carry water and stuff like that there and the well for the house. So it's a, it's a really, really interesting place. And then as you go further up, there, he talks about a wake. Um, so in the top house here, there's, there's an area where there's a, an actual wake going on. Um, and he talks about the different superstitions that there would have been around death at the time. Um, and then obviously this house over here, they talk about the, the alcohol problems in Ireland uh, just after the famine and how potching or, or home brewed alcohol was made. Um, that's in there and you can actually buy a bottle of potching and, and have, have a drink of it whenever you're in there. So it's very, very interesting. Uh, but we'll show you around some of the other areas here. replica of how they would have brewed potching in Ireland. 
Um, and this would have been the sort of bars that they would have had. These were completely illegal. Um, you know, if you were caught with the bar, you would have went to jail. Um, so, uh, Pat goes through the story of how the pot chain is brewed and, and stuff like that there. So, it's a really, really interesting story. Um, and it, it also tells the story of how alcohol actually affected the communities here um, and the addiction and, and the devastation that that brought with it. And he compares it to, to drugs nowadays and, and the devastation that that can cause in communities in Ireland. Um, so it's very, very interesting. Again, another, another bit of the tour that you would like to come and see. I just need a reason I just need to know what's on your mind Tell me what you're needing You can call my name, I'll be your
Just finished up for the day, we've got camped up, uh, the fire's on, we're going to cook a wee bit of lamb here later, um, over the fire. Uh, how do you, what do you think of the trails today? I had good crack, hey. uh, you know, it was nice to see them different tyres, I've changed my tyres recently, I've been driving road tyres, wet the wheels on road tyres, uh, did the entire strand of Florida on road tyres. <laughs> So, You're lucky you didn't get a puncture, hey. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've upgraded to like normal off-roading tires, uh, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a different experience. Some dust today. Unbelievable. It's dry, hey. Can't even see it by one screen. Unreal, like. <laughs> It was, you were finding it difficult to see it so one stage behind me. Literally at one point I've actually got a video of it, it was just like a white cloud, I had to stop. <laughs> Class high. And then that village, what do you think of that? Something different. Uh, yeah, like, but yeah. you know, it's a good touch of Irish history in that, this the Famine village. Aye. Uh, uh, that was a pretty fascinating place. And then it's great to like, after you've been there, to actually drive up under the mountains and see the actual villages uh, because it gives you a, there. Because it gives you the idea of you know, your entire history. At the end of the day, these people were stuck in this one place and like, they didn't have cars. Yeah. That was their world. They yeah. had no television. They didn't know what the outside world was. Yeah. And that was their life within yeah. that wee bit of Aye, and it's, it's nice to see the turf still being cut up in there, so it is. Yeah. Aye. Fun enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Aye. Absolutely. I've so, never seen anything like it. It aye. was massive. I've massive. seen turf fins, but not like this. <laughs> this was different. Yeah. Aye. Them guys were good guys. Um, so we're going to camp up here. There's Jack and the goat and stuff are over there, so they are. Um, Thomas is just down the beach, so there's a there's quite a wee community over here. So there is um, round round the north coast of four before drivers. So we always end up we we always camp in our only areas, but 
everybody tends to get together in the middle of the middle of the night. Don't the they? thing it is, it's not the way community because everybody down here knows each other. Uh, We're yeah. all hung about each other at some stage. It's uh, funny how you get all to know each other. Uh, so Austin's actually uh, down the beach playing with Thomas's kids. Yeah. So yeah, so it's uh, uh, it's been great. But we'll see you again next time. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like the video and comment and underneath and tell us what you liked or what you would like to see in our next video. And if you'd like to go on a tour, um, uh, visit the website www.flatcapadventures.com.